Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new game demo that we are actually trying out for a game that's currently on Kickstarter by Dadai Studios called Lullaby Gardens. And I'm really excited to try this game out. I actually saw it on Twitter as a Kickstarted game a couple weeks ago and I've been eyeing it up and I'm definitely going to be backing it because this is another one of my favorite genre of games. Farming! It's a farming simulator that's really adorable. Just wait till you see the cows and chickens. Oh my gosh, they look so cute! But it's basically a crossover between Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, and a little indie gym from over the seas called Reketeer. And I'm not sure how many of you guys are familiar with Reketeer, but we actually played one of its sister games a very long time ago. It is one of our hidden playlists. If you go way, way back, um, you'll find something very special. It's from the same creators of Reketeer. And I'm really excited about that because that's a shop management game. So this is basically like Harvest Moon, except the shop that you manage is your own. Instead of just dumping things into a crate and selling things, you actually set up a little shop and sell things to the villagers that way. And of course, there's bachelors and bachelorettes and mining and possibly fishing. And I don't even know what else. I have no idea what's actually included in the demo, but you can find a link to the Kickstarter in the video description. And you can see if uh, maybe it's something you're interested in for yourself. So they tossed the demo my way and I basically did like a happy hop around the room and let's dive in, get started and see what the demo, keep in mind it's the demo, of the game has to offer so far. So we're going to start a new game. <gasps> oh, is this me? Oh my gosh, look at me. And we've got a net and we have a watering can. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. <gasps> look, I have a whole field. I have a whole field full of weeds full of weeds and rocks and all sorts of little stumps. Oh my gosh, can I run? I wonder if I can run. <gasps> oh, I pulled out my watering can. So is this my scythe? Can I, what can I do here? Oh, this is like my little pick. Can I destroy, um, can I destroy some of the stuff here or are these too big for me? Oh my gosh, can I walk around? All right, break the rock. Oh, this is so cute, look at me. I just broke that rock up and I collected some stone. Okay, so what about, oh, I see. So kind of like in Slime Rancher where you have your little circle in the middle of the screen, that is your controls. And keep in mind, this is just a demo. So who knows how much polishing they're gonna be doing because they just started kickstarting. I'm actually kind of stunned that they even have a demo. Oh, and I probably need to explore. You guys probably wanna get to exploring and seeing what's going on. And I'm just like, yay, clearing rocks. Oh wait, and my energy is going down. Of course my stamina would start decreasing. I need to be a little more careful about that. <gasps> wow, look at this. There is a whole big beautiful river and everything and she's got the cutest boots on and there's some beehives. So I can have zero out of 20 bees. I wonder if you can collect different types of bees in order to have different types of, oh, and I wonder if that's like where new areas are gonna be added in in the future. <gasps> that's so cool. And you can see inside of her little backpack. Oh, that's so fun. It looks like she has a whole bunch of different, um, are those scrolls? Or maybe they're little potion bottles. Like in Reketeer, you have magical items and you have so many different types of things to sell. So I have no idea what we could actually sell here. So far I have rocks and some some like pieces of grass that I got off the ground. And I have a thousand dollars. So it's spring one year one. Whoa! Is this my is this like my ranch? Oh my gosh. Cool. And I can ring the bell. And I wonder if that would make my animals come to me. Okay, so let's see, and I have a little house over here. There's quite a bit to start poking around. Can I go into my house? <gasps> I'm in my house! Oh, I have a little chest and everything. I bet you could open that and use it for storage. Look at my little welcome mat. It's a little hoof print. That is so cute. There's a bunch of books. I wonder if you can customize, you can go to sleep. I wonder if they'll make it so you can customize your character. I believe this is a Canadian company too. French speaking can, uh, Canadian. And let's go into the barn. Oh, I've got a cute little barn. I wonder if you can expand it and add all sorts of different animals in here. One of their Kickstarter um, tiers is actually you can add in your pet to the game. And I thought that sounded really cool. I was like, I want to kind of do that and add in my Gouldian finches and maybe they could like give you random seeds. That would be really fun. I wonder, can I use this net to catch fish? Hmm. Or can I catch a bunch of bugs? Are they gonna have like bug collecting you can do? Let's go into the woods. I wanna see what's down here. 
Whoop. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going into like a whole new area for the woods. All right. All right. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Horses. There's little horses, you guys. Oh, look at how cute they are. And there's, a, there's, there's pigs. There's horses and pigs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look, look, look at this. They're so cute. They're so cute. Look at the little prancing pigs. Can I pet this horse? Can I talk to people? Can I feed them? Can I pick this stuff up? It's really adorable. These little piggers are so cute. Hello, person. Talk to Jenny. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and talk to Jenny. Hey, stranger. I'm Jenny. It's good to see that you arrived today, or you might never have met me. I'll be leaving town soon. I'm going to live far, far away from here, no matter what Dominic says. Uh, can I keep talking to her? Or just back? Oh, that's so interesting. Did she have a fight? Hey, are you Dominic? Alright. Hi there. So you're the one who bought the house around town. I can imagine you have a lot of work ahead of you. I still do, and I settled down in this town years ago. Anyway, it's great to meet you. Just call me Dominic. Oh, okay, so there's some of the characters. Look at the pegs. Oh, they're so cute. I hope they can make it so you can have like tons and tons of different types of pigs. Maybe even they can... Oh my, it just hit me. What did the pigs help you get? Because I really hope we aren't like growing pigs for bacon. Look at those little eyes. I couldn't turn them into bacon. No, that'd be, that'd just be terrible. No, they have to be, they're truffle hunting pigs. Of course, they, they have to be truffle hunting pigs. That's the only thing that makes sense. All right. And oh my gosh, this town is so much bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, look, there's another person walking around up there and there's a little boat. Oh, that reminds me of Wind Waker. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, is that a graveyard? Huh. Well, I'm, I already headed this direction, so I'll just keep moving. I bet this is one of, another one of the bachelorettes. Uh, oh, wow, look at her hair. It's two tones. And that's actually a really cute little church. All right, let me go ahead and come on up. Abigail, huh? So we'll go ahead and talk to her. Oh, you're the new one. I'm Abigail, the town's undertaker. An undertaker? Abigail the Undertaker. Oh my gosh, that's pretty awesome. What are you doing in the cemetery already? Hopefully you're not looking for someone. Hmm. Um, no, nothing unusual. Anything else to say? Okay, so I think because this is the demo, I'm pretty sure they'll probably have like really detailed models as time goes on. And I'm pretty sure there'll be tons more to say. Oh, look, it looks like it's locked. Oh, that's so interesting. So the church is locked, but I really love the stained glass windows. And I have a little bunny. I didn't even notice I have a little bunny on the back of my bag. And this is Daisy and Aster. Uh, my love for you can only grow. I really hope those are like some of the cows or pigs and not like somebody's parents because that'd be really sad. Um, oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, there's so many more little things to discover than I thought there would be already. Uh, let's see, it's a great... Ew, is that like a sewer? Maybe that's a sewer. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's a sewer. I wonder. I wonder if it's a sewer kind of like what you see in um, Stardew Valley. Maybe you could go inside the sewer and do something. And what's that? There's a little house. There's a little hobbit house. Can I go down there and see what's what's happening? Or is that like the mines? Interesting. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You can explore so much more than I thought you'd be able to. This is this is awesome. So I can't go in there. I wonder if that's somebody's like little hobbit house. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the stream. Oh, and there's a waterfall over here. Oh my gosh. Can I go into the waterfall? You totally can. Did you see that? See? See? No, I swear there was something there, you guys. I swear there was. If you back up a little bit, Looky there. So there's going to be a little hidden areas. So that's going to be so fun. So lots of spots. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was just my boots. My cute little rain boots. I think they have mud on the bottom. I really hope that's mud. It looks a little bit suspicious. And I'm pretty sure we're not playing a horror game. Oh, so there's definitely something else with a lock back there. So you probably can get into the sewers. So it looks like there's going to be little hidden things to do. And you're supposed to be able to woo the bachelors and bachelorettes. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, I'm back on my farm. Oh, okay. So it goes around in a big circle. So I just went in a big loop and now I'm back to my barn. Oh my gosh. Well, that's interesting. I wonder where my little shop is that I'm supposed to run. Or maybe I haven't found it yet. Or maybe, oh, look, is that more? 
Oh, I have a lot of spots where I guess the net that I have right here is to go and catch bees that I can put inside the beehive. That makes a lot of sense. Let's see. And I guess I can pluck up a few more of these weeds. Can I already go ahead and cut down the, these big logs? Oh, I can! Look at that! Maybe I need these log pieces so I can like build my own. All right, don't get too tired. Don't get too tired. Wow, look at that! That's so cool. Oh, so I wonder if I can just like collect some of this. Okay, picking weeds doesn't seem to exhaust me at all. So let's just pick a bunch of weeds because why not? And then I'll try going back into town in just a second. I saw like an old lady grandma walking around. So, all right, I've got, let's get one more. So I have 12 little weeds because who knows? Maybe I'll be able to use that for something. So it looks like I have stamina, which is the orange bar on the bottom and maybe health which would be the red and maybe the last one is going to end up being something like uh, magic or something like that i have no idea if they're going to be adding magical elements into this game but this is very 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 early this is like just super early demo so now we're gonna go ahead and run this way let's see and what can we do? It looks like it's getting late in town. I love these horses though. And there's at least three colors of horse, which is definitely a good thing to see. Oh, they're so cute. And it looks like this is that sewer thing again. So there's different grates kind of hooking the sewer up everywhere. Hmm, oh, who's that? Huh. No, she's getting away. Oh, I had to stop for a quick cup of tea, but oh, who's this? Okay, Florence. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Hey, I don't know you. Where do you live? What's your name? I'm Florence, and I'll deliver your mail safe and sound. Well, as soon as I find your house. So no wonder she's interested in learning more about us. So that is Florence. I think she's another one of the bachelorettes that you can woo. I don't think it matters what gender your main character is. Oh my gosh, there's so many people everywhere. <gasps> Are those flowers? Flowers hanging from little baskets? Oh my gosh. I'm going to have one heck of a good time exploring this place. I love everything Harvest Mooney. All right, what's going on? Opal, huh? She has so many gemstones. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that a new face I see? You're quite a pretty one. Emeralds would suit your eyes perfectly, I can tell. If you ever want to buy jewelry for yourself or a loved one, just ask for Opal. Oh my gosh, Opal, what do you have? <gasps> she sells like copper ore and diamonds and emeralds, gold ore, iridium ore, platinum ore, rubies. Oh, there's so much sapphires, silver. Yes, so you definitely can go ahead and you can snag a whole bunch of different gemstones and a whole bunch of different ores. I know you can do mining. I'm not sure how many minerals they will make, but there's definitely a few. Copper ingot, gold ingot, and silver ingot are also from her too. So we'll worry about poking those in a little bit. Is there anything? let's see request lost dog oh i hope you can help somebody find their dog if there really is a lost dog quest there's so many quests and there's so many things up here wow i'm really impressed i know that the game just barely started getting kickstarted and it just needs a little bit more to go to be fully funded <gasps> is that a crab there's a crab hanging out up there but who knows what all they're going to be able to add in i am so blown away already i am so excited you guys all right we're gonna poke it a little bit more next time i think because i don't want to i don't want to just like zip through everything right away but we'll poke it a little bit more next time to see what is hiding over here and i see chickens oh my gosh we're gonna come back we're gonna check out the chickens we are gonna meet some of the other villagers and we're gonna do a little bit of exploring but if you want to see what uh i think it's da die studios like i said they're french canadian as far as i remember what they're up to with lullaby gardens then be sure to check the link in the video description because i really hope that this game manages to get kick started because I love everything Harvest Mooney. And this looks like it would definitely have its own charm. Definitely a lot to polish, but it definitely seems like it's going in the right direction. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.